Hello friends, welcome back. Now suppose R1 is a regular expression. Then R1 clean will also be a regular expression. Now suppose M1 is a finite automata corresponding to the regular expression R1. Now we have to design a finite automata corresponding to the regular expression R1 clean. Now what we have to do, first of all make a, an initial state Q1 and from here add an empty transition to the initial state of M1 right now make all final states of M1 non-final and from these states add empty transitions to a new final state QF right and uh, from uh, final states of M1 which are now non-final states which are now not final states and empty transitions to the initial state of M1 right now from this uh, initial state Q1 add an empty transition to the final state QF in this way a new automata has been formed which will accept all the strings which belong to the regular set represented by the regular expression R1 clean. What we have to do? Add an empty transition from uh, initial state to the initial state of M1. Make all final states non-final and add empty transitions from these uh, states to the final state of QF and from these final states of M1 which are now non-final add empty transitions to the initial state of M1 from here initial state of this uh, newly designed automata add an empty transition to the final state of this newly designed automata now Regular expressions use three operators clean, dot, and plus. Right now, precedence of this operator clean operator is highest, then comes dot operator, which represents concatenation operation. Right, its precedence is second now. The plus operator which represents union operation its precedence is lowest among all these three operators now we have to design a finite automata corresponding to this regular expression a plus p now here this is a finite automata corresponding to the regular expression a and this is a finite automata corresponding to the regular expression B. Now we have to design a finite automata corresponding to this regular expression A plus B. So what we have to do here, make a new initial state. And from that initial state, add empty transitions to the initial state of these two finite automata. And final state of this new automata will be the final states of these two automata so this automata corresponds to the regular expression a plus p now we have to design a finite automata corresponding to the regular expression a plus b clean so, so first of all we will make a finite automata corresponding to a plus b regular expression so Make the final state of this 
automata which corresponds to the regular expression a plus b non-final. So this is a finite automata corresponding to the regular expression a plus b. First of all make the final states non-final. So here I have made them non-final. So next step is make initial state, new initial state. Let it be q0. From here add an empty transition to the initial state of finite automata corresponding to a plus b. Right? Now from these final states of A plus B, uh, from this finite automata which corresponds to regular expression A plus B, from these uh, final states add empty transition to the initial state. Here in this uh, newly formed automata these final states are not final, they are non-final states. From here add empty transition to the initial state of the finite automata corresponding to a plus b empty empty right now make a final state qf and from the final states of automata corresponding to a plus b add empty transition to this new final state Now from this new initial state, add an empty transition to this new final state. Now this automata corresponds to the regular expression A plus B clean. So it will accept all strengths which belongs to the language represented by this regular expression. Now we have to make a finite automata corresponding to this regular expression a b this is a finite automata corresponding to the regular expression a and this is finite automata corresponds to to the regular expression b now we have to make a finite automata corresponding to this regular expression so first step is we have to make initial state now the initial state of this automata will be the initial state of this automata right first of all make uh, the final make initial state right which would be the initial state of this finite automata and then make this final state non-final and from here add an empty transition to the initial state of this finite automata which corresponds to the regular expression B. So this automata corresponds to the regular expression AB. What we have to do? First of all make the initial state of this automata uh, which corresponds to the regular expression A the initial state of automata which corresponds to the regular expression AB so then this is the initial state now make the final state of this uh, automata which corresponds to the regular expression A non-final and from here add an empty transition to the initial state of this automata which corresponds to the regular expression B. Now we have to make a finite automata corresponding to the regular expression A A plus B. So, as I told that uh, precedence or a priority of concatenation operator, that is the dot operator, is higher than this plus operator. So, first of all, we will make 
finite automata corresponding to this regular expression EA. Then this is the finite automata corresponding to the regular expression AA. And this is the finite automata corresponding to the regular expression B. So what we have to do, make an initial state Q0 and from here add empty transition to the initial state of these two finite automata. Now this newly formed finite automata corresponds to this regular expression. This automata will accept all strings which belong to the language represented by this regular expression EA plus B. Now we have to make a finite automata corresponding to this regular expression A dot A plus B clean. So first of all we will make a finite automata corresponding to this A plus B clean. This is a finite automata corresponding to the regular expression A plus B clean. And this is a finite automata corresponding to the regular expression A. Now we have to make a finite automata corresponding to this regular expression. So let this is the regular expression R1 and this is the regular expression R2. So what we have to do? Make the initial state of a finite automata which corresponds to this regular expression R1 the initial state of new automata which will correspond to the regular expression R1, R2. So this will be the initial state. Then second step, make this final state non-final, right? Now it is non-final. And from here, add an empty transition to the initial state of a finite automata which corresponds to the regular expression R2. Right? So what for 